What is up guys, Shadow Gale up in here with the next episode of the FTK series. Today we are going to be focusing on Destiny Board. We're going to be focusing on trying to get out Destiny Board. And this is going to be the hard, this is going to be pretty hard, I think, because we're trying to focus on getting the F, the I, N, A, and L within roughly 10 turns. Because uh, Destiny Board reads that once per turn during your opponent's end phase, Place a spirit message card from your hand or deck in your spell and trap zone face up in the proper order of this. So we need to have like 10 turns at, at the very least pass between me and my opponent for this to work. The good news is we can use Dark Sanctuary, one of the main cards, to instead of using our back row, we can special it onto the field where they cannot be attacked or, uh, dis or you know, destroyed or banished or anything like that. Uh, but that's going to be tough because the way I'm building this right here... It's a stall with the uh, Swift Scarecrow Battle Fader. It's a uh, it's a it's a stun with the Skill Drain goes in in rivalry. Uh, this deck is very much based off of uh, Crab Master Duel's deck of uh, of the Destiny board, except he was playing to uh, oh like you know to actually hit our opponent and win. I'm not doing that. We're not trying to hit our opponent for damage. We're trying to get this out, and if we get this out, we win. That's the whole point. So, yeah, we're just going to jump into some duels and see how we do. So, let's get to it. All right. Let the conquest begin. That is actually pretty good. Getting a battle fader and a lava golem. But the dark spirits mastery is really good because that will allow us to get um, the destiny board. And the sense of doom is actually, actually, these right here are insane. Because these cards will allow us to get two of the uh, pieces up within two turns. That's actually insane. Okay. Uh, there are some things I will say about this deck. This is not meant to be uh, very competitive. It's just meant to help you get the card out. That's a Magician's Souls. Uh, okay, while they do that, I will keep explaining. So, Final is used to actually uh, be Death. It used to be Death, not Final, but they changed it because, oh no, it's too, it's too, uh, it's too scary. Or something along those lines. Uh, our deck is mostly meant to stun and just delay until we can get the board out. Uh, anything that ends up getting rid of even one of our pieces, uh, we lose. It's the same thing with like Exodia. You lose one of the pieces, you lose. There's nothing you can do about it. Why did you set Magician Salvation? Okay. Um, the good news is, we still have a lot of draw power. That's why I had Pot of Extravagance, Pot of Prosperity, the One Day of Peace, the, the Allure of Darknesses. Those are meant for drawing power just to get us the pieces we need just to get started. And let's see. Another Battle Fader. That's good. I think for this, I'm not going to worry too much about the Dark Magician. So I'm going... Well, you know what? I'll send the uh, Battle Fader. I will send the Battle Fader. The problem with uh, facing Dark Magician is I know... That they have a very specific uh, magician circle that can end up banishing one of our cards. That and we have two uh, destiny boards. We have the sentences of doom, and we're just gonna end our turn there. Uh, yeah, so we just gotta stall, stun, stop our opponent from ruining anything. Uh, that, and you know, if they scoop, doesn't count. We have to try again. If uh, you know, you know, it's just one of those things. So let's see what our opponent does this turn and whether or not uh, we can win. Yeah, there's the circle. That's the card I'm fearing the most right now. Yeah, I'm not staying here. They have Eternal Soul. They could next turn just banish my F and then we're just screwed. So let's try this again. Let's see what the draw is. Not bad. That's not a bad draw for our hand. Um, I think in this case, we're going to go start with Pot of Prosperity. This is probably going to be the best way to, uh, find the F right now. Alright, we're going to banish these six. Alright, they had no response. That's good for us. So we have a choice of these six cards. There's Dark Spirits Mastery, and then there's the Dark Sanctuaries. I gotta go, I gotta start with the Dark Spirits uh, Mastery. This is the best chance we have, actually, uh, finding the cards we need. So... First things first, we cannot draw anymore, but that's fine. We just need to start out with getting cards. So let's discard our Dark Spirit of Malice. We'll get the F into hand, and we'll just set that onto the field. We have the Battle Fader, so we at least got that going for us. Other than that, yeah, if they destroy it, we go to the next duel. It's simple like that. Uh, Yeah, just don't pop it. Just don't do nothing, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be happy. 
we'll, 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 be, we'll be happy. Mythical Beast, Garuda. You can target one other spell, trap in the field, destroy both this and this card. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Seriously? Really? Just that? Okay. To be honest, after that kind of experience, I wonder if there's something that would have been better, you know? This is actually not bad. We have the, the, the F already in hand. The fact we have the A in hand is not good, but that's fine. We'll send the Necrofear. They may ash us. They can. And we'll be fine. Pretty sure we'll be fine, yeah. There's the ash. Oh, and it's the special ash. Wow! Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Okay. Well, we still have the F, and we do have the Sense of Doom. We're able to at least get started. Uh, the real thing now is just trying to figure out how are we going to survive. Because we have nothing to stop us. If they have the ability to uh, OTK us, then what can we do, really? Necro Valley? You're playing Necro Valley. Well, it doesn't, that doesn't help us. That's... That's for sure. Uh, Nadir Servant. If you send Natis, I'm scooping. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You don't say. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's so hard trying to actually stop them. What the crud is this hand? All three of them? Okay. Okay. We're just gonna be that kind of a person and say, No, you cannot play the game. Okay, it's time for stun. The problem I have now is I need two specific cards if I want to actually win this. The first card is going to obviously be the F. The second card is the field spell. That's a rocket. Okay, well, I'm going to wait a moment. I'm going to just wait. Oh, there's a sprite. Hold on. If you're going to be doing that, I might as well hit him with uh, the rivalry. Yeah. Hit with the rivalry so they can only keep one monster onto the field. Then we'll hit them with the skill drain to really uh, rub it into them, you know? And just for kicks and giggles, we'll do the Gozen match. I am going to be the one of the meanest players at the moment. Uh, they cannot get out carrots and they cannot get out uh, uh, red. So, yeah, it's great. It's really good. Uh, now they are forced to send one of their cards, and they're going to be keeping the Thunder. I'm assuming that it's Thunder... It's a uh, Sprite Rockets, and that's what they were going for here. And that's fine by me. They can still get the Jet, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Okay, Tour Guide is not bad, but it's not great either. The thing is, we are under Skill Drain, so what can you do? We'll normal summon it out, but we will not activate the effect. We just need the wall. We just need a body on the field because if they want to destroy it, Abominable Unchained Soul. And like I said before at the beginning of this video, the, my deck list was initially inspired by Crab Master Duel, so do, do check them out. I'll put the link of the video uh, in the description below. Uh, so yeah, that's why I was doing it, but I'm like, I can't just copy them, right? No, no, no. I gotta do something to make this unique. And the thing is, his uh, duel decks was focused on, yeah, trying to get... No, I'm not going to do that now. His deck was focused on just trying to, you know, to win the duel, obviously, make it competitive. In my case, I just want to win with final, you know? That's all I want to do. Uh, but yeah, he actually had very good ideas for what his deck was. Uh, of course, in my case, I'm doing this, so yeah... <laughs> Uh, hopefully, come on, that's Dark Spirit of Banishment. It's not bad, but it's not great. Let's, uh... Ooh, wait a minute. Mm. No, I'm not gonna activate anything. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get rid of his thunder. Because if he's playing rockets, which are dragons, I'd rather him not start going into the rocket combo and then suddenly get a Borland. Then I'm dead. So, uh, what do you got for me, uh, guy? Mmm, Sprite Smashers. And, oh, they had a Sprite Starter. Why didn't you use it? Oh, and one of... Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck is this? 
Whoa! You have a sea serpent? You've locked yourself out of everything. Hey, one day apiece. Hmm. Uh, that's totally fine by me. What the crud are you trying to cook with? Yeah, it's level two. That shouldn't matter. Okay, that's not the best of uh, things to get, but we're just going to enter in there. What were you trying to do there? What were you... Okay, so if it's sent to the... I... I don't understand. This is probably a jank deck and I have no idea. Atlantean Heavy Infantry. Okay, Atlanteans, I will say this. A lot of them do have a uh, good synergy uh, for graveyard and stuff. Uh, they're water monsters. They're not bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. But... <gasps> ah! There's the reason why. That's why. Except they're now locked into waters. What the heck are you doing? And I activated one day apiece, so yeah, we don't take any damage that turn. What was this? What is my man cooking over here? I don't know. Okay, let's draw a card. Battle Fader. Okay, well. What is their uh, plan here? Oh. Sprite Pixies. By golly, they've outed my dark spirit of banishment. Whatever am I going to do now? Not worry about it. That's what it is. Draw, there we go, okay. One of the pieces to our puzzle will activate the Dark Sanctuary. Now we just got to get the F. If we can get the F, we have a chance. <gasps> no, not Max C. Whatever will I do against the Max C? One of the most broken, overpowered cards in the game. Oh no, kind of toxic at the same time. Oh, Dark Sanctuary, activate! What do we got? Oh, and they get hurt. Oh, first damage on themselves. Oh, no. Okay. We just need to get the F. Give me the F. And we have a shot here. Another Dark Sanctuary. Not the worst thing in the world, but, uh, yeah. We're just gonna sit on this one. Turn 21. Do we got it? We do not. But this might actually help us a little. Let's normal summon out the Doom Dog. Okay. And I could definitely Torrential Tribute right here. Yeah, I'm going to leave my Doom Dog onto the field. Spellbound. Call by. What the. <laughs> Wait! You're kidding me, right? You're actually kidding me. Okay. Fair enough. They're playing Spellbound and Call By. I guess Spellbound can be considered a meta kind of card. That's so funny. Uh, that is very funny to me. I'm going to enter in there. Doomdog won't die. Now, if they want to clear their field, they can try and attack us with their monsters. Clear the field. Uh, but the good news is, that's fine by me. I don't... I don't... <laughs> okay, they're trying to clear their field now. They're actually trying to clear their field. However... If even one of these gets blocked, they lose uh, the opportunity. And that's fine by me. This is actually just very funny to me. They take 100. <laughs> Watch as this be like turn 100. Finally, we actually get the cards we need. Pot of Avarice. Wait a moment. That And Call By. They're sending Call By and Pot of Avarice. Okay. Finally! Final E. Okay. Let's actually start playing some freaking Yu-Gi-Oh, then. Why don't we? Okay, let's normal summon out Battle Fader. Okay, I'm not going to activate that. I could, but I won't. Let's send both of these for Beat Cup. Boom, we get the Beat Cup. Finally, we actually are getting some luck in this game. We're going to add to hand... I could... Oh, I could Lava Gold. No, I can't because they need fire monsters. Dang it. Okay. We're going to add the Dark Necrofear. Now we end our turn. I'm not going to even touch them. I'm just going to let them sit on what's going on. They put themselves in this. They put themselves in this. Is this really the way I'm going to win? Is this really the way I'm going to win here? Is this seriously the way I'm going to win? I'm, I'm going to use like rivalry skill drain goes and match to win this. Is this how I'm going to end up winning? The thing is that we can actually do this because it's a fiend and dark and we're locked into that already, meaning we can actually get the cards out onto the field. Boom. 
And if they scoop up, that sucks. But it's fine by me. Please do not scoop. Another pot of avarice. And another spellbound. What are they cooking? What were they cooking with? There's the A. That's fine by me. All right. We just, uh, we're just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna activate my other dark sanctuary. Why? Because I feel like it. End my turn there. Let me have this win. Let's make our lives just a little bit easier today, okay? Okay, well, they, they do get that off, and they do uh, get rid of their diva. Now, we're actually in trouble here. Why? Yeah. The fact that they did that ruins it, because I only play one of each of the different uh, letters. Dang it. Man, there's like so many cards with the ability to pop back row. Why is that? That doesn't count! And you even gave me the F at the beginning! Why would you do that? Ugh, okay. Really? Alright, here we go. Again, Lava Golem going second. 12 cards in extra. That means nothing. 42 cards in main. Swift Scarecrow and Battle Fader is good. Uh, we can at least use the Allure of Darkness. Hopefully draw a card, send the Battle Fader, and we'll be fine. Tour Guide is good. Allow us to thin our deck out a little bit. Cyber Harpy Lady. This could be good. Toon Kingdom? I'm sorry, what the crud? Toon Kingdom? Well, Toon World, but Toon Kingdom? Toon Page Flip? I'm placing tunes. This is my moment. <gasps> this is actually my moment to win. <gasps> yes! Yes! This is my moment! Toon Arpy Lady, Toon Blue Eyes, and Toon Dark Magician. I can only hope they don't get the, the Toon Dark Magician. I'm, I'm fine with the other ones. Not that it matters, because, yeah. Toon Arpy Lady, okay. If you control this, you can special it. Then if you control another, you can destroy a spell or trap your opponent controls. Okay, this is actually not good, but I'm getting rid of this one at least now. Oh, they're going for Cyber Slash, aren't they? Yeah, Cyber Slash Harpy Lady. So, tunes with Harpy Ladies. When a Spell or Trap card is activating a target, a monster your opponent controls or Harpy you control. Okay. Okay, maybe we can win against tunes. The thing is, they do have the ability to attack directly. So, that is a little troublesome. But because we have Lava Golem, we should be fine, right? Maybe. I wonder. Adding the tune bookmark, uh, that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> Adding a tune, yeah, they can add. What? What? what I, there's the thing. I have a deck for tunes. It's okay. I got tunes like during the early years. Like no, like within like the first few years of actually playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, like the first few like month or two, because I kept fighting so many different tune decks that it was stupid. So I was like, you know what? Fine, I'll do it myself. And uh, I did it. So yeah. <clears throat> so uh, let's start this out. Let's start out first with the tour guide. Activate the tour guide's effect. We're going to get the dog onto the field. Doom dog. This is allowing us to thin our deck out a little bit. And I think for this, I'm going to play this a little bit different, actually. I could have definitely like kept the uh, doom dog on the field and then sent it. But I like the idea of having the Gossip Shadow, so if they activate anything, I can just... Nah, uh, uh, I need I need draws. I need them draws, man. Now, we have the Dark Sanctuary. They can attack directly with this, but we have the Sc Swift Scarecrow and the Battle Feeder for that reason. Oh, yeah. Well, the, thank goodness for... Uh, <laughs> thank goodness for Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. Let's send them both. We'll get a draw. This is actually good. It's actually good. I'm glad I put this one in here. And uh, we draw. Not bad. Gain the other Dark Sanctuary is not bad. It, it thins our deck out. Draw two. We got the A, and we have to send the Battle Fader. That's fine. That works. That's fine for us. This will actually lock our opponent into wins. So we just end turn there. The thing is, the Harpy Lady can still, uh, can still probably attack us. But we should still be fine here. Dark Sanctuary will protect us from battle damage half the time. So, yeah. Alluring Mirror Splits. Uh-huh. So, 
if any of these are destroyed by battle, then they can special one out. If this card you control is destroyed by a Harpy's card effect or your opponents target a Harpy monster in your graveyard, special it. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna activate the Gozen match. Let's use it now. Lock them into the wind so they can't get any of their other tunes. They can still get out, obviously, the Tune Harpy Lady, which, if they special it out, they can then destroy a spell or trap by control. This is gonna be tough, but it'll be fine. We'll be fine. I can take some battle damage. And if they do get out another uh, Harpy Lady, which they got another Harpy Lady, I guess. Um, yeah. Pretty sure I can. Let's, uh, all right, so we go this. We'll take 17. We can take the 17. I gotta wait until I'm certain that I'll be fine. Because Dark Sanctuary will keep us safe. No, we gotta... Okay, well, it did not keep us safe that turn. We got the F. Okay, we end turn. I'm gonna activate the Swift Scarecrow if they keep trying to attack us. Uh, if they try, if they get rid of Gozen Match, great. That's fine by me. Uh, because then I can actually start... Uh, I, then I can get rid of their stuff. Um, but I'm still a little worried... Because if they attack us again, we'll lose. And if, if the Dark Sanctuary doesn't pull through. So I'm kind of forced to use the Swift Scarecrow. Aren't I? I'll let this one go through. I'll let this one go through. Because I can risk another hit. I can risk a hit. Okay. We got that going for us. Uh, I can risk this hit. I don't think there's any... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no tunes that can do actual uh, like effect damage. That they have... Hopefully, that they hopefully have. All right, please. Yes. Yes, the stall tactic is winning. End phase. Now we activate the destiny board. Because now that's during the end phase, we can do this. Now they can activate the cyber slash to return, but there'd really be no point in doing that. Yeah. All right. Come on, destiny board. We get the eye. Give me the eye. Give me that eye. Yes! Uh, no, we're not going to special out the eye. We're going to set it in there. All right, we draw. Dark Spirit's Mastery is actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good right now. Let's activate uh, the Dark Spirit's Mastery. We're going to send... Yeah, we'll send the Lava Golem. Uh, here. Oh, I just realized they could have Harpy's Feather Duster, and that would suck. We, got, we have to play through it, I guess. Let's... We're going to add the Dark Necrofear. The thing is, I want to stop them as much as I can. Uh, I'm going to 1, 2, 3. Banish these three. We need to send the Lava Golem for that. We're going to put it into defense. Because now they can't even hit over us. So actually, we're fine. I could have, yeah, destroyed that. But I don't want to, to activate any, any of their effects. This will keep us safe unless they get a tune. If they do a tune, I can Swift Scarecrow. We're fine. We are perfectly fine. We just gotta last a few more turns, please. Battle phase. They they shouldn't have anything to be able to attack us with. Why would you attack? Why would you attack? Why would you attack? Oh my gosh, they can do that, can't they? That's so stupid. I just realized they could actually... Hmm... They forced my dark... They forced my dark sanctuary. Okay, that's actually smart. That's actually smart. We're gonna let it go through. Sure, I'll let you do it. I'll let you hit me. Sure. That was smart. That was actually really smart of them. My goodness, this is actually getting really tough. This is actually going to be really tough. End phase. Okay. F activates. We get the N. The thing is, I can't special any of the mo them out as monsters. If I do, they'll return it. So, we draw Dark Spirit's Mastery. That's good. That's actually really good. Hold on. That's actually insane because I really needed that card. Okay. I'm going to activate the Dark Spirit's Mastery in the graveyard first, though. Because I want to get this A out of my hand. Get the A back into the deck. And then we can put it on to next, next turn. Now, we draw Dark Spirit's... Ooh, that's good. Okay, Dark Spirit's Mastery. Let's do this. We're going to send the Dark Sanctuary. We don't need it. Yes, they can activate the Cyber Slash, but that's fine. We're good. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add the Dark Necrofear. The Dark Necrofear will allow us to shuffle back our monsters. 
Now, shuffle uh, one, two, and three. We don't need the lava golem. And get out our dark necrophere. Boom! Right there. One, two, three. Okay. I'm just going to end turn right there. The thing is, I have to take the risk here. I have to take the risk. They're going to force out Dark Sanctuary again. But that's... It should be fine, right? I don't know. I'm really... I'm really putting this down to chance now, aren't I? I'm really putting this down to chance, aren't I? Yeah, here we go, battle phase. They're going to force out Dark Sanctuary. Force the Necrofear back into hand. There's only one way I think I can actually legitimately win this. I have to either draw another Swift Scarecrow or another... Or one of the battle faders. That's the only thing I can really think of. Wait! Oh, wait a moment! Oh, we're good! Okay. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. Wait. No, 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 no. We do activate the Swift Kiss Scarecrow. I'm not taking that risk. I'm not taking that risk. No, I can't. I can't take that risk. I I don't know why it didn't let me uh, do the other one, but uh, we're fine. Yeah, like if I didn't, I would have been dead there. Oh, we are so freaking close. If they top deck a Harpy's Feather Duster, we're dead. Okay, come on. A. No. Put it there. Okay. We are so freaking close. Please, we draw. I can't activate it. Oh, no. I think I lose. Actually, no. I don't lose. Guys, this, this might actually be it. This is the closest I've gotten yet. I have to win both t coin tosses. If a single coin toss doesn't work, we lose. Or they d or they just let us go, you know, it's totally fine. Please, please, Dark Sanctuary, of all the times, now is the time. I cannot take any damage. Battle phase. This is it. This might be the turn. Come on, Dark Sanctuary. Show me you got it what's in ya. Please! Two more times! Please! Yes! Yes! One! That's one! One more time! One more time! Please! Please, Dark Sanctuary! Please! This is it! Please! Just one more time! Yes! 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 Please! Just end your turn! Please! Just end your turn! Don't scoop! Yes! Yes! Please! Oh, please, please, don't scoop, please, let it go through. Special summon it. Final, yeah, yes, thank you. Victory. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was the most stressful duel I've had in a long time time let's freaking go that was insane holy crap we did it we actually won with final destiny against all odds against tunes okay i hope you guys enjoyed the video that was awesome i hope to do another one real soon it's gonna take a moment for the next one because this cost me all my ur dust so if there's a specific one you want me to do let me know in the comments below uh, hopefully one that's cheap because I don't want to spend any more money on stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, guys, take care.